get me frizzy rained on and crying because I'm grateful my sister just Venmoed me some money. And I wanted to share too how pretty this drive is. We're in New York. We were at a rest stop yesterday. And this drive is really pretty. It's very pretty. And I should, I'm going to try to grab it and show you guys. Um, Benny and I have been on the road for a little over two weeks. And he threw up again this morning. Um, and Benji's always have, had a sense. He came with a sensitive constitution. He's been, he came throwing up when he was a baby. So... I, I guess it doesn't surprise me, but it's also not fun, and you also, I also worry a ton. I worry about poison. I worry about him getting something in his mouth that's not in my control. Everywhere we go, there's new stuff. Whether it's the water, there was mushrooms. This big at this this where we camp, call it camping, boondocked at the um, at the rest area. Anyway, this drive is so pretty. I want to share that. So I never know. Benji seems to be okay now. So um, we'll get to my friend Dina's in Maine and we'll do some laundry. It's been raining. And I just wanted to share how grateful I am. For every dollar that somebody gives me helps with the hundreds and thousands that have come out. Thousands and thousands that came out to do this. And, and I'm... And that's a big part of the fear and the transition of how I'm going to try to figure out my next chapter. Because I'm retiring my career. Look at this mess. Anyway, and my sister supports me wholeheartedly, but, you know, sometimes we don't talk or things get busy. And for her to do what she just did just made me cry, like, ball like a baby. Because that's so nice. She sent me $100. She's never done that. Anyway, let's look how pretty this is. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you all the pretty trees and the landscape. It's like rolling hills. I don't know where I am. I'm in New York. I'm five and a half hours away from Yarmouth, Maine, whatever that tells you. And the rolling hills have just been the kind of pretty there's been, Jake. It's been so pretty. That's why we stayed where we stayed. Look at me crying. Anyway. I had to put us down last night so that I could, because I don't like to, t I don't research while I drive if I don't have to, and um, I just needed a minute to process where we are and where we're going, if I want to spend more time in New York, how do I want to get to Maine, do I want to, it's a holiday weekend, today's a Sunday, I think, you don't want to, um, Labor Day weekend, you don't want to go where, I'm, I can't just keep going where the tourists are going, it's just way too heart and I have the patience of Job. Benji's a million times more patient than me. Oh my god. And yet, oh my goodness guys. So we are making some different decisions than we thought we were going to make about where we're going. We're going to go straight to Dina's and do laundry. Get this man cleaned up with poor Benji's sick stomach. And um, we're going to go to Acadia. We have camp reservations Thursday night. That's super exciting. Super exciting. And I've been looking. I think there's free, a lot of free camping in the White Mountains. I've got more looking to do. I was researching that this morning. Making a cappuccino. I made a cappuccino this morning. What? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Sorry this isn't pretty. But I wanted to share this. Oh, let's should we do two reviews. Well, a couple reviews. We did... Grimes Glen, absolutely beautiful. The parking in there is tricky. And different people have different personality types and you never know if they're gonna uh, be nice or not about how you park this big van into a spot. You, ju you just do your best and you try to be kind and you just hope that other people are gonna be gracious. And then like, I'm worried about like things that I'm just worried about people like keying my van or something because I'm parked so tight to a spot. It's so hard. So you just have to, so I, we didn't go very far in. Plus, didn't need to anyway, too, too many people. But the hike was, the little teeny, teeny, teeny bit we did in was enough nature to totally fulfill our needs. It's inside a town, so you just go right to this little town on this little road. I can't imagine living there. That It would be gorgeous, but it'd be tricky with all that traffic coming through your teeny little street. And then we did um, Watkins Glen. That was amazing. Same thing. Unbelievably crowded. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Where am I? So pretty. I'll have to find out where I am. That's a pretty little lake, river, river. Um, so, um, Watkins Glen, the town was, so 
super cute the pier and then um they had sailboats out there that was pretty we sat on the little pier benji had to eat a stick and play just off the rocks he could get his little pile just into the water which was perfect for me to just take a load off tons and tons of tourists on that too but it was super doable and i loved it and i would highly recommend Watkins Glen. i go to these towns and i think oh i could live there or i could live there it just it's the water was so pretty blue and the sail sail boats were pretty and we don't eat at restaurants couldn't type out the restaurants we didn't we don't see hotels couldn't type out the hotels but it was a lovely experience in and out Okay, off to Maine, guys. We love you. Well, well, I said I wouldn't do any reviews on any of these, but I mean, because it's all subjective. Everybody has their own opinions coming from their own perspectives. But we might as well share in case it helps somebody. Oh, parking is real tricky. It doesn't cost to go into Watkins Garden. All it is a state park. Every state park is different. It was free to walk in there. Thank God, I don't know how they would manage that with all those people. Oh my God, it was like Disneyland. They could charge if they wanted to. Disneyland. And big piles of money. They get you on parking. It's ten dollars to park or something. But we got into a free RV lot because we're big. I parked next to the RVs, and there was no one there to take money. And I, and it said to go to the office to pay the like visitor center. I can't take a dog into the visitor center, so we just tootled up to the hike a little teeny bit, got what we wanted out of there, and got out fast enough that I mean that's. Sorry, I know I'm probably breaking all the rules and someone's gonna to wanna to come back and charge me 10 bucks. Go ahead, if you know where to send the money. <laughs> there was nobody to take it. Nobody there had tickets on their RVs. It was kind of a rough looking lot. It worked. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm finding that along the travels, sometimes you can find some really great stuff. Sometimes you pay way, way, way too much. We paid $11 to park on a crappy street in Niagara and walk way too far through really scary people, like New York style scary of like New York City, like people, like homeless people talking to themselves. And there's nothing wrong with homeless people or people talking to themselves. I talked to myself. I actually thought about that while he was doing it. I'm like, dude, I get it. Like I totally talked to myself. But I'm just saying we paid $11 to go into that madness and ask me if I would do it again. I'm not, it's not that I'm cheap, it's just whatever. Anyway, okay, so there are my reviews that I said I wouldn't give any reviews. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna head into Maine and we'll let you guys know about more stuff.